Today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're going to try another science experiment, Beyond Burgers. And we'll try them right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? My name is Joe. And I'm Anthony. And this is Two Crazy Ketos. And here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos. We do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. Now, you can find us on all kinds of social media like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel and make sure you hit that little bell button so that you are notified every single time we upload a new video. So welcome to Two Crazy Ketos. Uh, like I said, my name is Joe. This is my son, Anthony. And uh, Anthony and I have decided to have some fun trying some different foods. If you're new to our channel, the other half of Two Crazy Ketos is actually my wife, Rachel. She's currently at work and we recently filmed the video on trying a um, egg just substitute, egg. just egg. If you haven't seen that, I'm going to leave a link for that right over my head. Um, but when we were done with that, Anthony's like, let's go try the Beyond Meat Burger. Yeah. And uh, yeah, look, the dog is in here. So is the cat. And so is the cat. Everybody's in here. And uh, we decided to try to defrost this. And it kind of smells like... It smells like Fancy Feast cat food. It's <laughs> Fancy Feast cat food. So let me take a look at the box here. So if you don't know what this is, this is an imitation burger. We're going to go and cook this up. And we're going to compare this to this. This is a half a pound grass-raised, grass-finished burger that I got from Whole Foods. And we're going to compare them in a little while. So on the back, there's a little bit of copy. It says, at Beyond Meat, we started with simple questions. Why do you need an animal to create meat? Because that's the basic fundamental of life. <laughs> Why can't you build meat directly from plants? Because that's not meat. If it turns out, you can. So we did. We hope our plant-based meats allow you and your family to eat more, not less, of the traditional dishes you love while feeding, feeling great about the health, the sustainability, and the animal welfare benefits of plant protein. Together, we can truly bring exciting change to the plate and beyond. And that is from Ethan Brown, the founder and CEO of Go Beyond. What are your thoughts on that one? I, I don't even know where to start. Why do we need an animal to create meat? Because an, animal, an animal is meat. And um, if if you were going to tell me this was a bunch of plants, like the old veggie burgers we used to eat, that's one thing. Yeah. But just looking at this, it looks it's like a meat. science project. I mean, I kind of feel like we need to take this out. Just flip it. Oh my gosh. Oh, you can, that's what it smells like through the plastic? I thought you took the plastic off. No, I didn't take it off. I poked the hole in it. I mean, ew. Ew. Let me see it. It, it, it looks, I, I mean. It doesn't smell good either. Oh. It smells like really bad candy. Let, let's, let's show this to them. Oh, you just do this. I, I, I don't. It rem you know what it reminds me I of? I can technically eat this how it is. You can. It reminds me of the, when you used to get the the dog food, the, the soft dog food, and it came in a roll, like cookies, and you would slice it. Yeah. That's what it's kind of reminding of. So what does it say on here? You really can eat it just like this? I mean, I'm assuming so. I'm reading it. It says Beyond Burger, the future of protein, meet the new Beyond Wait, Burger. Can you eat this? Delivering complete protein without soy or gluten with marbling that melts and tenderizes for an even meatier, juicier burger go beyond. What are you looking at that can I eat? Oh, it has carbs in it. It does have carbs in it. It's got five total carbs, two grams of dietary fiber. We'll get into the nutrition yeah. in the five things review. Okay, so we're going to go cook this. It says recommended cooking instructions. Keep refrigerator used within three days of opening it and do not refreeze it. Cook thoroughly before serving. Okay, so you got to cook it thoroughly, which is like if it's plants, why do I have to cook yeah. it? Yeah. 
It's, if purchased frozen, thaw it in the refrigerator before cooking, consume within 10 days of thawing. Preheat your grill or your pan to medium-high heat and cook for about four minutes per side. Do not overcook. The edge and the interior of the patty may still be red or pink when fully cooked. Cook time may vary depending on your equipment. Always cook to an internal temperature of 165 degrees. Are you ready for that? Sure. Okay, so we're going to cook that in one pan, and we're going to cook this in another pan. Okay. Okay. What are we doing here? I'm salting it. You're salting it? Both of them. So we're doing salt and we're doing pepper. Yes. When you're seasoning something, whatever seasoned side you put it on, so this is the seasoning, you put that on first. Okay, so that's the regular burger. Yeah. Um, are you going to put a little bit of fat into the cast iron pan for the Beyond Burgers? Nope. Well, I guess it is fat based. How does it smell? You can salt it again. Salt both sides. So we're adding a little bit of butter. Yes, because I don't want the pan to burn. We're worried about our pan burning because it doesn't look like there's anything coming out of that thing. Yeah. Okay, so it said three to four minutes on each side. Yeah. It's only been a couple minutes. So I wait. Are you ready to eat this thing? Yes. Tabitha's ready. I wouldn't give it to Tabitha. <laughs> I wasn't giving Tabitha that egg either. <laughs> Tabitha loves Anthony. Sit. Go down. Go down. Oh no. Shake it out. Okay. Here we go. Flipping it. Oh no. Okay. Kind of looks like a burger. What about this one? Well, that's a burger. That's meat. That's beyond meat. Okay, I'm going to let you finish cooking. I'm going to go set the camera up in the other room. That's some good ketchup. Okay, we're back. The burger slid off and almost onto my computer. Okay, so this is the regular hamburger, beef hamburger. Yes. We're gonna put that to the side. These are the Beyond Burgers. They, I honestly will say, sort of look like a hamburger. They kind of remind me of like what you would get. I have a napkin at a like I don't know like a fast food kind of place, right? Yeah. Okay. Maybe a little thinner. Here's a fork. Do you need a knife? No. It definitely, like, it's got like a fake looking crust. Okay. I'm going to show the inside. So that's the inside. Wow, this smells bad. It does smell pretty bad. It smells bad. It definitely smells bad. Okay, are you ready? Oh, you're eating it already. It's not bad. It doesn't taste bad. But it you seasoned it really well. You seasoned it really well. It does let's let's face it. It doesn't taste like If a, you gave it to me, I could tell the difference on which one was what. You could or you couldn't? I could. Well, you've got a good palate though. I I this is almost like I, I hate to say this. I think it tastes better than a McDonald's hamburger. Probably. It definitely tastes better than most fast food hamburgers. I'm gonna I'm gonna say that. Yeah, it does. Anthony's pulling out the alternative sweets. I'm gonna steal a little touch of that. You could have put more on. Well I'm not trying to use it all. Alternative sweets 
makes anything better though. That's some good ketchup. That's a good ketchup. It's edible. Unlike the eggs. The eggs was pretty bad. The eggs were horrible. This, it's edible. It, it's, it's, let's face it, it's not a prime beef burger. Mm -mm. But it's edible. I think it tastes better than a lot of the stuff you would get at a gas station, something like that. We've got to do a comparison here. You can leave that one out. It's okay. I just want a little bite and then I'm gonna let you have this. Yeah, because I want this for dinner. Okay, can I? Go ahead and cut a piece off, and I'm gonna show the inside of obviously this. Okay. Oh man, that's good. That is good. This you ready? Good. So this is the inside of of our burger. Okay, let me try this. Let me oh, see how you taste, how you did with this. That's good. That's better than that. You can't for a second tell when me. when you taste them side to side, man, that's good. That that's 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 good. That's not that good. I feel like if you blindfolded me and gave me a bite of each one, I'd be able to tell the difference. Um, I, there's not a question in my mind that you'd be able to taste which one. No, which one is the difference is. My question is this: You go to some random, I don't know. You go away on a vacation. You go to a theme park. Yeah. Okay, I think this is a good test. You go up to the burger place that's in a theme park and you order a burger, they bring you that. Are you going to know that it's not beef? I think I will. You think you'll know? Compa I don't Off get. of smell? Forget, alone. take the smell, forget the smell. Taste, texture. Do you think that you would be able to tell like in the hustle and bustle of going to Walt Disney World that you're not eating a beef burger or is it just gonna, does it taste like uh, an overcooked hamburger? Texture, no, I won't be able to tell the difference. Okay. Taste, I think maybe. To me, it, it tastes like an overcooked, cheap quality yeah. theme park hamburger. This tastes like what you get, what you would get when, at, for lunch when you were a kid, you go to the cafeteria. There you go. That, now it's not this though. It's it's not this. I wish this Rachel was here so that we could make her taste this. Rachel is on her way home. I think we need to save a piece of this and just put a clip of her eating this in yeah. this video. In the meantime, maybe she will walk in the door on while we're doing. Let's do the five thing we're we'll do. Okay, so five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We're gonna talk about the ingredients. Does it keto based on a nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? So number one, the ingredients. I have not looked at this yet, okay? It doesn't say beef, that's for sure. <laughs> there's a bison on it though. There is a bison, no there's not. It's is made from it? vegetables. No. Oh, there's, there's a, a bison wearing a cape. There's a bison wearing a cape as their logo. Okay. So the ingredients in this are water. Pea protein isolate with an asterisk. And what does the asterisk mean? Peas are legumes. Peas are legumes. People with severe allergies to legumes like peanuts should be cautious when introducing pea protein into their diet because of the possibility of a pea allergy. <laughs> okay, so then the second ingredient, expeller pressed canola oil. Refined coconut oil, rice protein, natural flavors, cocoa butter, mung bean protein, methyl cellulose, wow. potato starch, apple extract, salt, potassium chloride, vinegar, lemon juice concentrate, sunflower lecithin, pomegranate fruit powder, and beet juice extract for color. What do you think? That's a lot. It's a science project. Yeah. It's it's a science project. Let's face it. It's a science it's project. It's a science project. I feel like they were just playing with Play-Doh and they made it on accident. They're like, oh, this is edible. <laughs> they, can, they can eat this. Now, here's the thing. Again, we said this in the video for the um, eggs. I'm not trying to knock vegans. But it's not meat. And I don't even want to get into the politics that the reason that they're talking about this stuff, and I mean, they kind of talk about it up here on the top, that this is better for the environment. It's not better for the environment. What it takes to make this destroys the environment, 
10 times worse than what a cow does to the environment. Yeah. I mean, you have to, first of all, it's made with canola oil. Okay, it's made with canola oil. To make canola oil, you've got to have soy. You've got to farm the soy. You've got to run tractors for that. You've got to move it. You've got to plow the land. You've got to chop it down. All of that yeah. takes what? Gas. Gas. What is that doing to the environment? This here doesn't save the environment. It may save animals, but it's not saving the environment. So let's, let, and that's a, as far as I'm going to go into politics. But it's a science project. Yeah. So it's not healthier. Canola oil, one of the worst things you could possibly eat. There's nothing good in this. Okay. Number two, does it keto based on a nutrition label? I'm going to guess, yeah. Okay. Well, we got to read the nutrition. So serving size is one patty, four ounces, 260 calories, which actually, I don't even know how they do this. That's about the same as a burger. So if you go get 80, 20 ground beef, a half a pound is going to be about 500 calories. So like they're right in line with a burger. So 260 calories, 18 grams of fat. 20 grams of protein, so it's higher in protein. It's almost the same ratio as an 80-20 burger. Um, five total carbohydrates and two grams of dietary fiber, which I don't know what the fiber is coming from. I don't probably the fiber. The mung bean protein, yeah. maybe. Um, so it's three net carbs. Oh, by the way, no carbs. Yeah. Three net carbs, no carbs. That's a half a pound of burger. Yeah. So each one of these is a quarter of a pound. Each one of those is a quarter of a pound. So does a keto based on nutrition label? I guess if you really want to get technical, I mean, yeah. it does. Does it keto based on the ingredient label? Kind of. Kind of, except for canola oil is a, a very inflammatory oil. Yeah. Um, but we're not going to get into it. Will, you, will this kick you out of ketosis? No. no. It won't. So, okay, so number three, how does it taste? It doesn't taste bad. Surprisingly, not bad. Like, if you gave it to me, I wouldn't, like, if you gave me that, and then I ate that, I would be like, I want that one back. Okay. Because I feel like I'd be, dis if I went to a restaurant, a five-star restaurant, and they didn't know, and I, and I just ordered a burger, and they gave me this, I would look, I would taste it and probably be like, something's off about it. Okay. And I'd ask. Like, is it real? Is it real? Like, it's not bad. It it, it feels like a burger. It kind of looks like a burger, but it doesn't taste like a burger. When mom gets home, we should tell her that's dinner. I don't think she'd be very happy. No, I wouldn't. Be. Okay. So taste-wise, I think Anthony's nailed it. It doesn't taste bad. It tastes like an overcooked, cheap hamburger that you got stopping at a gas station. Like, if I paid two bucks for two, like, like. Three bucks for this. I'd pay three bucks for this. Okay. And I, that's what I'd expect. You eat a lot of gas station I food. I do. Okay. So you go to Wawa, things like that. You know, I look at those breakfast sandwiches in Wawa now. I can't believe they're like over $3 yeah. now. You're getting an egg, one piece of bacon, a slice of cheese, and a bunch of bread. Yeah. Is this $3? Like, would yeah. you rather that be on that piece of bread at Wawa than that egg? No. Okay. So number four, how much does it cost? It costs $5.98. It was $5.98 in public for two four-ounce burgers. Yeah. So that is $12 a pound. No. $12 a pound. Yet people complain about paying between 6 and $10 a pound for grass-fed, yeah. grass-finished ground beef. You're paying $12 a pound here. For what, a couple beans? For some beans. <laughs> It's uh, it's ridiculous. I wouldn't expensive. spend the money on this. It's it's ridiculously expensive. I mean, people talk about keto products being expensive. Vegan and vegetarian products are yeah. really expensive. So number five, what? Rachel's home. Okay, pause. Stop before number five. Come join us. What are you doing? Here's your burger. Here's your dinner. This is your dinner. This There's is your dinner? dinner. Go ahead and try your dinner. What's wrong with this? Is this sausage or a hamburger? This is a burger. What? What is that? 
It's the beyond. Okay, so what do you think about the taste of it? You weren't supposed to tell her yet. This is the Someone. beyond burger. It does not. It tastes like plastic. It tastes like plastic. Well, we take a smell of it. Take a smell, and that's Come. cooked, by the way. That's funny too, does it because like, does it smell like fancy peas. It does smell like fancy peas. <laughs> you know what's funny is, I always ordered um, like veggie burgers. Uh huh. Like you know, from I can remember we'd go to like the Hard Rock Cafe and always got like their veggie burger. The veggie burgers tasted way better than this. Yeah. Now, this is weird. What we said, I mean, we're coming like, up to number five of our five things review. It's like a mush. It doesn't it. taste horrible. What I said it tastes like is an overcooked, overprocessed burger you would get at a gas station or maybe at a theme park. Like if you were given that, if you order a burger at a theme park and were given that with the bread and everything, you probably would not know it wasn't a burger. I feel like they've injected it with some sort of like liquid smoke or something to make yeah. it taste well, like Well, Anthony it's... also heavily seasoned it. I heavily seasoned Thank it. Thank you for that. <laughs> we're cooking you burgers. We got cowboy burgers going on the grill, so don't Thank overdo you. This is mine. Yeah, Anthony's that. eating this one. Yeah. So, yeah. So, it's a science project. It's not horrible, but that's... Oh, by the way... It's twelve dollars a pound. That burger. This one wins. That burger. Is, I feel like Ron Swanson. Beef. <laughs> beef beats, wins. Beef wins every time. That's three dollars. It's six dollars for. It's three dollars a burger. So its taste doesn't taste it, good, and it's more expensive. It's yeah. double the price of grass-fed, grass-finished ground beef. No. Okay. So number five, would we recommend this? I'm gonna say no. Anthony. No. No. Anthony was saying that if he was in a hospital. What, were you, what was it? If I walked into a hospital and they said that I can't eat meat for some weird reason, there's some... You have some yeah. mythical some disease mythical that disease. doesn't allow you to have meat. Okay. There is no such thing. And, and you said that this is all I could eat, then fine, I'd eat it. Okay. But that's, like... Eat, that's a high threshold. Even Well, no, even if like maybe they don't want to kill Charlie the cow. Okay. They, maybe they don't want to kill Charlie the cow. Like, the it, only cow left on Earth is your best Charlie. friend. He's Charlie. Charlie. Okay. Charlie's my main man. Okay. <laughs> so, I don't... They don't want Charlie the cow to die. Okay. I and can so they'll get eat behind this. that. I can get behind it. Again, we said this before. We're not trying to knock vegans. I have no problems with people who love animals. We love animals. Obviously. We choose to eat animals. We're but practically Noah's Ark over we here. We love our animals. Um... But like we were talking about before, don't tell me this is saving the environment. Well, my This is not saving the environment. If you're eating this because you don't want to kill Charlie the cow. Eat vegetables, but don't eat something made to look like something else you remember. It would just be better to just move on from anything that's even vaguely resembling meat and just eat vegetables and embrace eating vegetables. And again, I don't even have a problem with vaguely trying what to remember of meat. Okay. Do we know what it's made out of? Yeah. I, I mean, we did the five things, but I'll tell you since you weren't here. Water, pea protein isolate, uh, expeller pressed canola oil, refined coconut oil, rice protein, natural flavors, cocoa butter, mung bean protein, methyl cellulose, potato starch, Sweet apple Lord. extract, salt, potassium, chloride, vinegar, lemon juice concentrates, su sunflower lecithin, pomegranate fruit powder, and beet juice extract. It's a science project. That is a lot. The scary part is, is somehow they get the nutrition to almost perfectly match a burger. Like fat, protein, calories. So you put it in a pan. Except for that's got five total fat. carbs and two, it's three net carbs. Well, isn't that what a laboratory would do? Like just continue working with yeah. chemicals until you get the desired result. Right. See, so my thing is, I don't care if you want to try to make something into something that it's not like a hamburger. I mean, hey, I don't like mushrooms, but I've had like, I remember went, going to, what was it, Rainforest Cafe? where they used to have like a mushroom burger. It was really mm -hmm. a burger, but it was right. made out of mushroom. That tasted it, way better than this. And it tasted better than this. It kind of yeah. tasted like a burger, especially when you put like onion and ketchup and that kind of stuff on it. My problem is you're eating a science project. Yeah. This is not healthy. Whether you're a vegetarian, a vegan, you're keto, you're eating the standard American diet, this is not healthy. This will kill you. It's <laughs> made with canola oil. I feel like, yeah, you're going to experience a lot of inflammation. I Yeah, believe me, I can't even imagine. If I were to eat that, I would wake up with all my arthritis back. Well, and I would rather eat like the Winn-Dixie wings we used to eat in canola oil. Yeah. If I'm going to have inflammation, let me eat something I want. Bad. 
Well, that is our video for today. Let us know down in the comments section if you've ever tried any of these uh, Beyond Meat Burgers, the Beyond Hot Dogs. Anthony, when he was a kid, had not dogs. And they were not dogs. And they were not dogs. Um, let us know also in the comment section if there were any other science project foods that meet keto macros that you would like Anthony and I to try on camera. What does Ask Nurse Cindy call them? Frankenfood. Frankenfood, that's a good word for it. So please do us a favor and hit that like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon and that way every single time they do something together, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. 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 Okay, so this is the... <laughs> <laughs> wow.